Tu leggi i giornali? No. Che rapporto hai con i giornali? Bruttissimo, li uso per andare in bagno. Ti dicono forza la notizia, forzala perché così attrai il, il lettore del web. I inform myself mostly through social media. The social media presence is right now right in your hands. J'ai besoin d'être tout le temps au courant parce que j'ai tout le temps cette peur que quelqu'un me parle d'un événement que moi je j'ai pas vu passer. Sometimes I feel sorry for the next generation because you have so much information to to get. The most important battle is to make sure that quality news survives for everybody, not just an elite that have the money, time and education, but everybody has access. You can't make people believe things, but you can give them choices in terms of the information they have about a story or a situation. So one of the most important things that mainstream media must do is learn not to repeat the rumors that come from disinformation. This is a battle for verified facts in proper context, for the significance of stories. And actually, I think it's a battle for the quality of our democracies. Because information, proper information, is the lifeblood of those democracies. It's one of the reasons, after the Second World War, so much public money went into creating impartial newsrooms, public service broadcasters. Because we just lived through a conflagration that started off with massive propaganda. The heart of slow news, at the heart of quality journalism, is explaining a complex world in an accessible way to broad audiences without reducing the complexity to such an extent that it's like a caricature. And that's a really big challenge for people, journalists and producers and documentary makers and the rest. It is not an easy task. So slow news is incredibly important in that sense, but we shouldn't underestimate the difficulties. I was uh, editor-in-chief of a print newspaper where I tried to change the idea of what is news already in that existing traditional print newspaper. And I failed because I was fired. People said, this is not news. The word today is not in the newspaper anymore. And I said, well, uh, I don't want the word today in the newspaper anymore because it doesn't tell you anything about the world we live in. So I was fired and then I thought, let's do it ourselves. I went on the TV uh, and said, this is my idea. If you support the idea, uh, become a member. Uh, we set a world record in crowdfunding. We had almost $1.7 million and we could start the correspondent.